This video may last for about 3 minutes but if you follow the details, you will create your conceptual framework in seconds. What is a conceptual framework? A conceptual framework is a clear illustration of the relationship between the variables of your study. Hello, Intellect. This is Insights for you today. Your conceptual framework outlines the findings you anticipate from your investigation. It describes the variables that are significant to your research and illustrates how they might be related. It could be simple or very complex. So, before you begin collecting data, you need to develop a conceptual framework. Remember that even though a conceptual framework is frequently portrayed visually, it can also be written. The question here is how would you develop a sound conceptual framework? So, I will show you how to create an excellent conceptual framework quickly, fast, and straightforward. Let's assume you already have your topic because you should have your topic before designing your conceptual framework. The first step is to identify your variables. Try to identify the key variables, which are your independent and dependent variables. You can write them in the draft. If you have a moderator variable or mediating variable, write same too. For this tutorial, let's use this easy to understand cause and effect topic. Effects of parents' occupation on their ward's choice of course study. Using this example will identify the independent variables as parents' occupation because parents' domain is likely to influence their ward's choice of study course, which is the independent variable. Remember that a moderating or mediating variable could alter the independent variable's effect on the dependent variable. To me, the mediator variable for this topic should be peer influence. This is because peer influence could affect the possibility of parents' influence on their children's choice of study course. Step 2. Do a literature review based on the variables of your study. Write down whatever relationship you find between your variables and the existing literature. That is, draw a map showing the linkages between various theories and papers. While you are at it, don't forget to note the research gaps. Step 3. Make a chart or diagram based on what is a likely relationship between the variables of your study. Use arrows to show the relationship. For instance, using the same example, I'll make a simple diagram just like this. So we can see how parents' occupation, which is the independent variable, could affect students' study courses. Peer influence could be a moderating factor, so I have also added it below using an arrow to show how it could affect parents' occupation from influencing students' choice of study course. Step 4. Write a narrative to explain your conceptual framework, and you are good to go. So intellect, this is very simple, right? Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. See you in my next video. Be safe always. Bye.